Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station Update Hour. We're here with the International Space Station Flight Control Team inside the Space Station Flight Control Room where Flight Director Royce Renfrew is leading the team today with Jeremy Hansen serving as Capcom. For one day only this week, Expedition 35 crew members are back on a regular schedule. Commander Chris Hadfield of the Canadian Space Agency NASA flight engineer Tom Marshburn and Russian flight engineer Roman Romanenko all got their wake-up call at the regular 1 a.m. Central Time today and are now more than halfway through their day. They're currently orbiting 256 miles above uh, Singapore, heading northeast over Indonesia towards the coast of China. Marshburn had built in Romanenko, launched to the space station on December 19th in their Soyuz TMA-07M which they then docked to the station's ROSVET module on December 21st. That puts them on their 99th day in space now and their 96th day at the space station. The three have been alone at the station since March 15th when their previous three crew crewmates, uh, Kevin Ford, Evgeny Tarelkin, and Oleg Novitsky, wrapped up their 143-day stay in space and returned home. They're now looking forward to being joined tomorrow by three new crew members, Chris Cassidy, and uh, Russian cosmonauts Pavel Vinogradov and Alexander Misurkin. Their Soyuz TMA-08M is scheduled to not only launch at 3.43 p.m. Central Time tomorrow from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, but it will also dock the same day to the station's Poisk module at 9.32 p.m. It'll be the first single-day journey to the space station for a crewed vehicle though the Russians have successfully tested the plan with progress cargo vehicles in the past. NASA TV coverage of the day will begin at 2.30 p.m. Central tomorrow, and you can see how the uh, other events line up here. Coverage of the docking will begin at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, and the final uh, section of our coverage for the hatch opening, which is scheduled for 11.10 p.m., will begin at 10.30 p.m. Central Time. After seeing off the SpaceX Dragon cargo ship yesterday, which splashed down safely in the Pacific Ocean at 11.36 p.m. Central Time, you can see a photo of that uh, vehicle in the ocean here. The crew now is back to primarily science experiments and preparations for their new crew members today. Chris Hadfield spent some time this morning working with the new ISERV experiment. That stands for ISS Server Environmental Research and Visibility visualization system. That's an automated system designed to acquire images of the Earth's surface from the space station, both as a way to gain experience and expertise in automated photography from the station, and also to provide useful images for disaster monitoring and assessment, as well as environmental decision making. We're going to be hearing more about that experiment a little later in the hour. And Tom Marshburn is spending most of his time today on the energy experiment, which is aimed at measuring how much food is needed for astronauts during long-term space missions. To do so, the science team will measure every component or variable of the astronaut's energy expenditure, reflecting his or her energy needs. So Marshburn today followed a prescribed, or yesterday rather, pro followed a prescribed menu, and he'll continue that plan for breakfast today. Then he'll be logging very carefully all of his other meals today and providing urine samples, as well as spending four 45 to 80 minute sessions monitoring his oxygen intake through a mask while uh, relaxing by either listening to music or watching a movie. In addition, Marshburn and Hanfield both performed sessions of the reaction self-test experiment again today. In all, they aim to have performed 115 runs of that experiment by the end of their stay at the space station. Reaction self-test is a five-minute reaction time task that allows crew members to monitor the daily effects of fatigue on their performance, particularly at times like these when their sleep schedule is uh, disrupted for sleep shifting. Hadfield and Marshburn have each been taking part in the test right before their sleep period begins all week long. However, today Marshburn also uh, performed the test as soon as he had woken up. Tomorrow, the crew will be sleeping in a bit to 2.30 a.m. Central Time in preparation for the arrival of their crewmates later in the day. Because it will be such a long day, they're also scheduled to take, four, uh, take one four-hour long nap. 
at uh, 10 a.m. and then be back up at 2 p.m. for the launch and docking, after which they won't go to sleep again until 3.30 a.m. So it'll be a long day for the crew tomorrow, and they've got a busy day ahead of them today. And that's what's been going on in space. This is Mission Control Houston.